and welcome to Toasted Hoagies Patreon. For all viewers who love Toasted Hoagies content and wish to help support Hoagie, now is your chance. In return for your support, we offer up to four donations le donation levels. The $1 tip tier, the $5 early access tier, the $10 request tier, and the $30 donation tier. The $10 tier also comes with early access, and while the $30 donation tier is a donation-oriented tier, it too gains all the benefits of the $5 and $10 tier. Hoagie, quit shilling your Patreon. Don't I pay you enough? You don't pay me at all! Shut up, Steve! Now back to the Patreon talk. With your help, Hoagie can continue to provide entertaining videos and streams for a long time to come. Isn't that great? You bet it is. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Catch you later. Okay, it's time to try to, to try this again. <laughs> I know words. And uh, here's hope. It goes better than the last time. Yeah, yeah, Hoagie here is rumors that Canada is a safe place. Free of the threads, uh, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. If your characters all have full health, fight off bandits will usually not kill any of them. Okay, great. Hit the road. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to spy, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? We're going back to the all mark. It's like time warp. Thank <laughs> you. 
We didn't get hurt. We didn't really hurt that bad. The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no, with no wood. The group eats a decent meal. should go chop wood. It's really hard work. Well, Steve's a big bruiser. Steve chops a bunch of wood and gets wood stuff going before passing out from exhaustion. He'll be very tired tomorrow. <laughs> the fire feels great. <laughs> we should ditch a car and find a big zombie we can ride on. The group spies the city from the distance. It's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy and at least, at least first. Grocery store or bookstore? Food! say they will be raided by bandits soon. If the group helps with defense, they will get a reward of 15 food, some ammo, and a cowboy rifle. Uh -huh. Try, he, Steve tries to build up the settlement's defenses. He tries to forest fight some things, but the efforts don't, didn't seem to help much against the vicious bandit attack. The wounded settlers accuse Steve of wasting their time and refuse to give the reward. Aww.
together is great. Digi is really getting the group down. Someone decides to speak up to help the mood. Logi starts talking to improve the mood. He tells Steve to cool it. This does not go over well at all. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't bring much attention to ourselves. Yeah, that sounds about right. Outside cannabis, society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency. Yeah, this is the trader camp. creeping nearby. The group will have to hold their ground for a bit before there's no before they can escape. Oh crap. Um Oh, he picked up that gun. Does Bob have weapons? He has a knife or a machete. I'll try to escape. Cool. Yes, let's go. Uh oh. Yeah, this car should have no problems getting to Canada, he says. It's smoking. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Morale and random skill gain. Shooting. Morale and one health healed. Ooh. Faster run speed. Yeah. Time heals all moves, especially zombie bites. 
Morale increases. Zombo points are two. Nice. Exhausted after a long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot, falls asleep immediately after the group eats a decent meal. Okay. I don't got much food left. Group spots. Group of bandits uh, that may have set up a checkpoint on the road. Someone from the team could be sent to distract the bandits so the car can get through. It should have to be someone calm and trustworthy. Uh, Bob. Bob is sent to distract the bandits so they leave their car checkpoint. Bob doesn't sell everyone out to them. Doesn't sell everyone out there. He distracts them from their far runs. They give chase. The car is able to get past. Bob sneaks around the checkpoint later, rejoins everyone. Ha! <laughs> cool. I like Bob. <laughs> random people who knows what they're capable of. <laughs> While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Untouched grocery store? Gas station rescue? Uh, grocery store! The outbreak in this crowded grocery store happened so fast that the pan crowd turned into zombies before the place could be looted. Many of the groceries are still on the shelves. Oh. Take a big risk. Oh, holy shit! Hey, no fair! Steve! Come on! Don't get killed!
damn zombie can go in right now. We'll get cornered by this board. Thank <laughs> you. 
work out. Yeah, no. Okay, I gave it my best shot. Muscle cars like this have slightly worse gas mileage than the average and break down fast. They're easier to repair very fast. Take it off and sweet jump. Yeah! Woo! Car! Just another day on the death row when someone farts in the car. Drama and mystery consume the team. Pick someone to blame. Solve the mystery, Steve. Steve explains a complicated sequence of deduction that arrives at one conclusion. It was Hoagie who was the fighter. Ah, oh. ha, ha. Group continues making progress along the death row. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. You have two food left unexpectedly. The group finds 